look of most pet stories is about love, courage, and loyalty. Yeah, these guys bring up the best in us. It's time now for another story about love and all that good stuff. <laughs> We started Animal Angels as a team in 2003 and since then we have uh, experimented using uh, dogs as a medium of therapy and as interactive mediums in various settings right from special schools to school, uh, normal schools and libraries and bookstores. Reading out to a dog is uh, you know, very beneficial for children who, who have some kind of a fear of reading out aloud or uh, sometimes they get mocked at school you know, by their friends or teachers and uh, they get taunted for making spelling mistakes. But reading out to our reading buddy, Shirley here, uh, she will not laugh at the kid or she will not taunt the kid for making mistakes. And the kid can, kid can read at his own pace. Uh, towards the initial part of the session, I always notice them to be a little hesitant, at least some of them are. But once they see a kid or two getting into the groove, then all of them start volunteering on their own. I want to read, I want to read too. I wanted to put her to some good use, like you know, social calls from the beginning. And uh, she, by nature, she is very social. So I used to take her around, and she used to love meeting children, and she'll never jump on children. Then I saw that we took her to one or two sessions. Then I uh, registered her, and uh, she took very, very well with the kids. She was very soft, and when I read to her, like she liked it, and she was like moving her tail and all that. And she, like, she barked in joy. I could see that. And like, she was very cute. Even if she was big, like, she, she won't harm anyone. She's very soft. She's very friendly. And even my uh, dog likes to play with her also. She's similar like my dog. So I like her. It's not just the child reading out to a dog. But the, you know, the child is guided by a volunteer or a special educator to read out properly in the presence of a dog. So the child relaxes more, even in a crowded situation. So uh, they want to read out to the dog, they want to touch the dog, they want to lie down on the dog. We, we try and make them as comfortable as possible uh, with the dog and, you know, um, basically, you know, enjoy the session and enjoy reading out aloud because that's, that's how they learn to read fast. <laughs> Making a difference big and small, that's what makes life special and worth living. Now it's time to